so one thing that I wanted to talk about really quick is why did I do a split flow on this floating raft system? Take this glove off real quick. Why did I do a split flow on this floating raft system? Usually, I don't recommend doing split flows on um, floating raft systems because you have to upsize the pump and it costs more. But this system here is a bit different. It's a bit different. Now, let me explain why I did the split flow. Now, it starts off with the main reason is because of this filter here, the bead filter. So this bead filter requires pressure. It requires the pump to go directly to the filter first. And what that means is on these built bead filters, they are um, they rely on a certain flow rate and pressure in order for them to function properly. So that means that the system, um, the pump from the system is um, is reliant on the bead filter, the sizing of the bead filter. And what happens is these bead filters they often require a pump that is uh, with a much higher flow rate than if we were to use a gravity uh, setup. Now let me explain further. So. What that means is typically what we would have in a typical setup is you would have the pump, the pump, it would pump your uh, your uh, water up to the fish tanks, and then you would set your flow rate off of um, whatever the tank size is. So for instance, this is a 100 gallon tank. Um, this would be, we'll, we'll do this once per hour. So that means this requires 100 gallons per hour. This requires 100 gallons per hour. So that's 200 gallons per hour at about three feet of head height. So 200 gallons for that, that means this pump right here would probably be about maybe a 400 gallon per hour pump. Maybe that, maybe 500 gallon per, per, uh, per hour pump maximum. And then the outlet will go into your other filter, which is what I have on uh, the other setups. It will go into the other filter and then they would be processed there. The waste would be processed in the filtration coming on the gravity side of the filter. Now, with that being said, this filter is different. This requires first, like I said, the pump to be uh, pushing water and pressure through the filter first. So this filter here is a, uh, I believe it's a 1500 gallon per hour pump. 1500 gallon per hour pump. So that means that this is much more oversized than what is required for these fish tanks, which only would be, like I said, maybe a 500 gallon per hour um, pump, if that. So with that being said, that means I have extra flow coming through here. So I have maybe 1,500 gallons per hour, 1,500 to 2,000 gallons. This is one of these coming through here, coming up here. So that's coming 1,500 gallons per hour coming out of here. So that's that's the standard. That's already there. So what that means is I can use my 500 gallons here. But let's say if it's a 1,500 gallon an hour pump, that means I still have 1,000 gallons per hour left. 1,000 gallons per hour left with this properly sized bead filter and the pump so with that thousand gallon per hour i can i i said you know i can do two things with it i could just close off the ball valves and and not let it not let any water flow or i can just use that extra water flow the extra thousand gallons per hour and move it through here so that's why i did a split flow on this system typically you wouldn't do that only this is the exception to that this is the exception to that now, what I could have done, I could have done it another way. I could have set this system up differently. Um, and I'm hoping that you guys are understanding the point that I'm saying. I hope that I'm explaining it um, well enough. One more time, just to make sure that I'm explaining it well enough. The pump here, boom, it needs to go through here first. This filter here requires um, uh, 15 to 20 gallons per hour, I believe somewhere around there, for it to operate properly. Therefore, the system pump, the system pump, relies on this not the fish tanks in other setups it will rely on the fish tank instead of the filter but this setup it relies on the filter instead of the fish tank so we have 1500 gallons per hour uh, coming through here these if you do them once an hour that's 200 gallons with the two three foot head height so maybe a 500 gallon per hour pump that's taking a 500 gallon per hour we still have a thousand gallons extra okay I'm, i think you guys are getting this time the extra thousand gallons we can run it through here Boom, we can run it through here. Now, for the other setup, the other way that I could have done this system, and I didn't want to do it this way, but this is what I could have done if I wanted to not split flow it. If I didn't want to split flow it, what I could have done is the pump here, boom, it comes up, comes down. Now, instead of split flowing here, I could have had, imagine this is not here. We'll just block that off, boom. Now it's going this way. 
So we can have the entire flow coming up here, but what that means is that I would have to have this bed raised higher. This bed would have to be higher than this fish tank. So the bed would be probably up here. And then the outlet of the bed, which is the outlet here, the outlet of the bed would then uh, provide water to the fish tanks. It would provide water to the fish tanks. And then the fish tanks would receive, you know, its proper uh, uh, um, uh, water flow. And then it would still come back behind with the solids. And then the solids will make its way back into the fish tank, uh, to the sump tank, and then be properly filtered here. Hopefully that makes sense to you. So I would just have to raise up the bed. That's the thing that I would have to do in this. Now, I didn't want to raise this bed up. I didn't want to have a bed way up here. I didn't want to do that. But you could do that. That's the way to get around using this filter because this filter operates off of the pressure. You have to have the filter going straight into the bead filter. It doesn't work off of gravity. So that's why this fil that's why this system is set up this way, just in case you guys know. But for any other system, the vast majority of other systems with any other filter, if you're using a, um, a drum filter, a swirl filter, radio flow filter, any of those type of filters, it's going to, it's not going to be a uh, split flow coming off of here. You're going to use off of, it's going to be off of gravity. Those are dependent upon gravity instead of pressure. Hopefully that answers your question. Woo!